Please welcome David Henry Huang, Thomas Schumacher, Charlotte St. Martin, and Heather Hitchens. Good evening and welcome to Radio City Music Hall and the 73rd Annual Tony Awards. I'm David Henry Huang, Chair of the American Theatre Wing, and I'm thrilled to be here to celebrate the 2018-19 Broadway season. Now, the talent represented by the nominees here tonight is simply staggering. And although we still have a long way to go, this year's list of nominees brings us some exciting firsts in terms of inclusion and diversity. So let's celebrate progress, even as we renew our commitment to equality in the theater. We have a remarkable evening in store for you. But before we begin, I'd like to mention the long-standing partnership that makes this event possible. The American Theater Wing and the Broadway League have been producing partners of the Antoinette Perry Awards for the past 52 years. And as every single theater person knows, Without cooperative collaboration towards a unified vision, the show simply does not go on. So I want to express my gratitude to our friends at the League for bringing their creativity, their energy, and their passion to the table year after year. It makes this job an absolute joy. And on that note, please welcome me, please join me in welcoming the chairman of the Broadway League, my friend and collaborator, Thomas Schumacher. Thank you, David. Tonight we celebrate not just our glorious nominees, but also our collective accomplishments as an industry over this past season. With total attendance nearing 15 million, this has been the best attended season in Broadway history. Now, that's a million more people than last year, and it's our sixth year in a row of audience growth. What's more, these record numbers were reached with the youngest audience we've seen in nearly 20 years. With more kids and teens in attendance than ever before. In fact, a quarter of all attendees this past season were under the age of 25, a large percentage of whom were likely watching it live on their cell phones. But the simple fact, we, Robert Horn wrote that joke, thank you very much. <laughs> the simple fact we've been able to reach this ever-growing, ever-widening audience base is thanks to all of your hard work and the diverse range of offerings you've put on stage. When the final product is this good, people obviously show up in droves. So congratulations to everyone who took part in this season, including the passionate members of the Broadway League, represented in 150 cities around the world, who I'm so proud to represent. And now, it is my pleasure to introduce to you my dear colleague, the president of the Broadway League, my pal, Charlotte St. Martin. Thank you, Tom. And hello, Radio City. Tonight marks the culmination of a remarkable season of Broadway, and as Tom pointed out, we have a tremendous amount to celebrate. And when you look at the long list of creative triumphs being celebrated here tonight, it's not hard to figure out why we continue to have historic numbers year after year. And of course, the international exposure from tonight's telecast will help us continue to celebrate that growth. So for that, I want to thank our friends at CBS, especially Jack Sussman and Jody Roth.
For 40 years, CBS has invited us to share the magic of Broadway with television audiences around the world. And we couldn't be more grateful for their unwavering commitment to the theater. The telecast, yes, thank you, it's just amazing. The telecast would not be possible without the already, the already leadership and producers, Ricky Kirshner and Glenn Weiss. Glenn is also the directing the telecast tonight. To watch them pull out the impossible year after year never fails to astonish. And we are all particularly excited about the return this year of James Corden as our host. You know, having gotten a sneak peek of tonight's show this morning at dress rehearsal, I can't wait for you to experience everything that's in store for you this evening. Now, please join us in acknowledging the recipients of this year's Tony Honors for Excellence in the Theater, who we celebrated at a special ceremony this past Sunday, Monday. They are Broadway's inspirational voices, uh, Michael McElroy find founder, The Schubert Organization's longtime Vice President of Theater Operations, Peter Enton. <laughs> Joseph Blakely Forbes. And the FDNY's Engine 54, Ladder 4, Battalion Mine, or as we call them, the Pride of Midtown. Each of these worthy recipients has left an indelible mark on our op community and the theater. So let's give them one last hand. And now I'd like to turn the mic over to my friend and colleague and the president of the American Theater Wing, Ms. Heather Hitchens. Thank, thank you, Charlotte. The Wing founded the Tony Awards in 1947 by honoring theater makers working at the height of their creative abilities. The Wing has been able to help fulfill its obligation to promote excellence in the theater. We continue that proud tradition happily this evening. I want to say something to everyone sitting here tonight. What you do matters. It really, really matters, especially in a moment like we're living in right now when compassion often seems like it's in short supply, there is a huge power in the communal, of rit the communal ritual of theater when, in which audiences come together and jointly consider someone else's experience in the world. I hope everyone here feels a sense of pride for taking, a part, taking part in an art form that unites us every single night and requires all of us to exercise empathy. The power of what you all do just cannot be overstated. So thank you. In addition to the Tony Honors recipients that Charlotte just acknowledged, this past Monday, we also had the opportunity to toast this year's special Tony Award recipients. They are Sunny Tilders and Creature Technology Company, recognizing Recognized for their creation of Kong and King Kong. Now we can clap. The extraordinary Jason Michael Webb, awarded for his outstanding musical arrangements for Choir Boy, and the three-time Tony-nominated actress, Marin Maisie, who sadly passed away We sadly lost Marin in September, and tonight we are honoring her, not only for her artistry, but for her advocacy and leadership within the theater community as a brave, strong voice for women's health issues. <laughs> 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 
Well, there's nothing left to say except that Tom, David, Charlotte, and I want, you to, want to congratulate all the nominees and tell you to have the time of your lives tonight. Thank you so much. And now, please welcome your host for the Creative Arts Awards, the stars of the upcoming musical Moulin Rouge, six-time Tony nominee Danny Burstein, Tony winner Karen Olivo, and Aaron Tveit. Hello! <laughs> it's our pleasure to welcome you to the Creative Arts Awards presented by City National Bank. Okay, we've all heard the delightfully witty Broadway pre-show announcements telling the audience to unwrap soothing lozenges, turn off cell phones, and to refrain from taking pictures. The performers in the room know that no one listens to those announcements, yeah. and since no one does anyway, we want you actually to take your cell phones out right now. I mean, mm. seriously, take them out, and instead of turning them off, take a selfie. Yes. That's right. Take some pictures and tweet them out using hashtag Tony Awards. Let's see how quickly we can break the internet. When we do go on the air, please don't text, yeah. take pictures, or be that person who makes a desperate call for a reservation to Bar Central. Yeah, people are, um, they're fully, fully committed. Mm -hmm. Now, some notes for the nominees. Uh, these are state-of-the-art microphones, so there's no need to raise them or bend them or mm -hmm. lean down to speak. Mm -hmm. You have 90 seconds from the time your name is called until your time is up. So get up here as quickly as you can. Some awards will be presented now and others throughout the night. We'll tape them during the commercial breaks so your acceptances can be played back on the air. So, since the show continues during all the commercial breaks, please keep the aisles clear for the crew and for the winners to be able to make their way to the stage. Also, please do not stand or gather in the aisles or in front of the big TV screen with the words on it. While we look rehearsed, we're not. <laughs> Some of us are actually cold reading, like right now. <laughs> Most of all, best of luck to the nominees. We've met, we have many important Tonys to give out in a very short amount of time. So let's get started by giving a warm thank you to the presenting sponsor of tonight's Creative Arts Awards. Please welcome the CEO of City National Bank, Kelly Coffey. Thank you, Aaron. Imagine seeing Beetlejuice without the eye-popping off-kilter costumes, or not being able to venture into the industrial wasteland of Hadestown, or watching the Temptations perform their signature dance moves without the vintage lighting that evoke a different era. The experience just wouldn't be the same, not nearly as magical. As we all know, the work that goes on behind the scenes is just as important to the success of a Broadway show as, as its wonderfully talented performers. That's why City National Bank is delighted to continue our strong partnership with Broadway. As the official bank of the Tonys, we're once again supporting these Creative Arts Awards and recognizing all of the designers, choreographers, and orchestrators who conceive, create, and construct the magic. My colleagues and I also have a special appreciation for these artists. We work hard behind the scenes too, that's why we've become known as the Bank of Broadway. So, on behalf of all of us at City National, I'd like to congratulate our outstanding nominees. Your passion, creative energy, and your imagination enhance the experience and delight millions of theater goers each year, here and across the country. Since 1976, the Tony Awards has recognized an outstanding regional theater that has displayed a continuous and significant level of artistic achievement which contributes to the growth of theater on a national level. This year's recipient is TheaterWorks Silicon Valley. Here's a, yes, thank you. Here's a look at some of the fantastic work they do. TheaterWorks Silicon Valley in Northern California is one of the nation's leaders in cultivating and producing new musicals and plays by emerging and veteran artists. This season, TheaterWorks will present its 70th world premiere under founding artistic director Robert Kelly. Many of their productions have gone on to regional off-Broadway and Broadway acclaim, including the Olivier and Best Musical Tony Award-winning Memphis, which received its first workshop and world premiere at TheaterWorks. Congratulations to TheaterWorks Silicon Valley.
Now it's with great pleasure that we present the Regional Theatre Tony and a $25,000 grant made possible by City National Bank to TheatreWorks Silicon Valley. Accepting are Robert Kelly, Phil Santora, and Board Chair Judy Hybor. Thank you. I'm Robert Kelly, founding artistic director of TheatreWorks Silicon Valley. And I'm Phil Santora, Executive Director. Our thanks to the American Theatre Wing, the Broadway League, City National Bank, and the American Theatre Critics Association. TheatreWorks is honored to be this year's representative of the thousands of outstanding nonprofit theaters across America. This award is for generations of collaborators who've grown TheatreWorks for 50 years. We thank our board, led by Judy Habor, our staff, New Works directors, arts educators, and the thousands of theater makers who have found an artistic home with us. Especially the playwrights and composers who brought 70 world premieres to our stage and developed hundreds of new works that have been produced across America and around the world. Special thanks to our donors, volunteers, audiences, and our welcoming home cities of Palo Alto and Mountain View, California. This will be my final season at the helm of this extraordinary company. Half a century ago, the cast of our first production gave me an unforgettable gift on opening night. They filled my car with food. <laughs> Tonight, you've given TheaterWorks a priceless gift as well, a glorious launch to the next 50 years. Thanks to you all. Carnegie Mellon University is the exclusive higher education partner of the Tony Awards and co-founder of the Excellence in Theater Education Award. Each year, the Tonys and CMU conduct a nationwide search to recognize a drama teacher for his or her exceptional commitment to arts education. To announce this year's Education Award winner, it's our great pleasure to welcome CMU's president, Dr. Farnam Jahanian, the head of CMU's School of Drama, Dr. Peter Cook, and from the company of Choir Boy, CMU alumnus, John Clay III. Good evening. We want to begin by sharing our best wishes and congratulations to the five CMU alumni who are among tonight's Tony Award nominees. Jamie DeRoy, Peggy Eisenhower, Jules Fisher, Peter Helinski, and Ann Roth. We also wish to congratulate Michael McElroy, Tony Honoré, and Judith Light, this year's Isabel Stevenson Tony winner. Your CMU family is so proud of you. As home to the first degree granting drama program in the United States, Carnegie Mellon University is pleased to join our colleagues at the Broadway League and the American Theater Wing to celebrate arts education by recognizing extraordinary teachers from across the country. This is the fifth anniversary of the Excellence in Theater Education Award. And as a judge for all five years, I can tell you the bar has been raised higher than ever. This year's winner is a standout in her Charlottesville, Virginia community, and to educators everywhere theater director Madeline Michael from Monticello High School. Ms. Michael empowers her students to confront social injustice, to address racial inequality, and to bring those conversations forward with inclusive stage performances. Let's take a look at this outstanding educator. Questions we ask are about a theater educator who most inspired you. Marilyn McCormick. Ken Washington. Lori Sales. Miss Free. Clyde Fowler. Ruth Strand. She changed my life. 
This drama department pushes boundaries. This program always chooses to have a message. It's art with a message and art with real people behind it. Art is really expression. It's supposed to be free. This program is not about me. It has to be about them. They are our future. They are the kids that give me so much hope. So making our world about them is the most uplifting thing that I could possibly think of. We are honored to present the 2019 Excellence in Theater Education Award to Madeline Michael. I would like to thank the Broadway League, the American Theater Wing, and Carnegie Mellon University for this award. I'm proud to share this award with my students at Monticello High School. I share this award with Josh St. Hill, who like everyone else in Charlottesville, suffered through the white supremacist violence of August 2017. And like everyone else in the black community, he was not surprised by it. That fall, he wrote the rap narrative one-act play, A King's Story, set against the backdrop of that tragic summer. I share this award with Courtney Grooms, who, galled by her classmates' Confederate flag t-shirts, wrote the play, Necessary Trouble, the title inspired by civil rights icon, Congressman John Lewis. I share this award with Kayla Scott, who experienced racial profiling in our increasingly gentrified city. From this came her award-winning play, Hashtag Wild Black. I share this award with Thaddeus Lane, who thought he was exclusively a basketball player and now is an integral member of our city's community theater. I share this award with Alex Espinosa, a dreamer who fell in love with In the Heights and is now a college theater major. I share this award with Amaya, Tyasia, Atalia, Moasia, who never saw girls that looked like them on high school stages, and have now set the standard for all students in our community. I share this award with Tyler, Abigail, Will, Zoe, Laurel, fervent allies of their peers of color, who never asked the question, what about me? This award is for all of the students who have found their voice and who speak for themselves, their families, and their community through theater and playwriting. I thank you all for allowing me to accompany you on this journey, a journey that I invite everyone to follow on Instagram at Monticello Drama 19. Thank you. Let's have a round of applause for the teachers in your life who inspired you to be here tonight. Oh, wow. Our Creative Arts Awards presented by City National Bank continues with the first of two Tonys for the designers who are more obsessed with how I look than how I am. Not possible. Yes. <laughs> Here are this year's nominees for Best Costume Design of a Play. Rob Howell, The Ferryman. Tony Leslie James, Bernhard Hamlet. Clint Ramos, Torch Song. Anne Roth, Gary, a sequel to Titus Andronicus. Anne Roth, To Kill a Mockingbird. And the Tony Award for Best Costume Design of a Play goes to Rob Howell, The Ferryman. Thank you very much. Um, it's a big surprise. Um, 
And I, I, I want to uh, congratulate the other nominees. And uh, this is Lucy. Lucy's my costume associate. And anybody in, in the room knows that the, our associates actually do all the work. And um, <laughs> no more so than this. <laughs> so um, if you look in your brochure, there's a, there's a, a page for, I know I've got a short time, there's a page for um, you know, the costume designer thing. And uh, the Tony people, uh, Jackie Green, a brilliant person from Bonner Brown Bank, phoned me and said, the Tony people, they need a drawing. I said, I don't have a drawing. He said, what do you mean you don't have a drawing? I said, we, I didn't draw anything two years ago. And um, we did it all through pulling stuff. I, we, uh, Lucy and I talked. and So Lucy did all of the work without any drawings whatsoever until two weeks ago from today when I had to do a drawing only for the brochure <laughs> for tonight. <laughs> So we, we started work on this three years ago. We closed in a month. That's the latest costume design in Broadway history. <laughs> but I'm very proud and we're very happy. Thank, Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. And now, here are the nominees for Best Costume Design of a Musical. Michael Crass, Hadestown. <laughs> William Ivy Long, Beetlejuice. William Ivy Long, Tootsie. Bob Mackey, The Cher Show. Paul Taswell, Ain't Too Proud, The Life and Times of the Temptations. And the Tony Award for Best Costume Design of a Musical goes to Bob Mackey, The Cher Show. You know, like Ruth Gordon said at the Oscars several years ago, this is very encouraging for an 80-year-old. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much. Creative Awards Awards, Creative Arts Awards, presented by City National Bank, continues with the Tonys for our scenic designers. Here are the nominees for Best Scenic Design of a Play. Miriam Buther, To Kill a Mockingbird. Bunny Christie, Inc. Rob Howell, The Ferryman. Santo Laquasto, Gary, a sequel to Titus Andronicus. Jan Versveveld, Network. And the Tony Award for Best Scenic Design of a Play goes to Rob Howell, The Ferryman. I feel, uh, <laughs> I feel strangely balanced. You should try this, it's good, right? Um, so, um, I've got to thank and want to thank uh, Sonia Friedman, Karen Ewling, Sam Mendes, where are you all? Somewhere. Uh, Jess Butterworth, of course. Uh, important, important thing to say is that when we all said yes to this, the play wasn't finished. There's 20 minutes missing from the very end, but we all knew it was an amazing play already, and everybody signed up. And Sonia and Karen raised the money and secured two theatres, everybody, two theatres. Uh, because everybody had so much faith in what Jess had already written. And he won't mind me saying this, but um, it was that good that everybody, including the goose, said yes. <laughs> um, and I just love it, as you all do, to be part of a community of people who have that kind of faith in uh, creative imagination. I'm really happy, <laughs> thank you. And now we'll continue the Creative Arts Awards presented by City National Bank with the nominees for Best Scenic Design of a Musical. Robert Brill and Peter Negrini, Ain't Too Proud, The Life and Times of the Temptations. 
Peter England, King Kong. Rachel Hawk, Hadestown. Laura Jelinek, Rogers and Hammersteins, Oklahoma. David Corins, Beetlejuice. And the Tony Award for Best Scenic Design of a Musical goes to Rachel Hawk, Hadestown. <laughs> Foremost, uh, thank you to my family, to my incredible mother who is here, to my sister, to my partner. Thank you to Rachel and Aeneas, the incredible women at the helm of this piece, to Mara and Dale. Thank you for, for standing with us so strong all the way through. Of course, Meredith Reese, jo Jesse Bonaventure, Neil Mazzella, the shop at Hudson, the incredible artists at Hudson, the amazing people at the Kerr and Todd Frank. Um, at this incredible time, I could not be more proud to be part of a musical that preaches the power of love and hope and the power of community and standing together. Thank you so much. Now we get to recognize the, design, the designers whose work is as important to the theatrical experience as the contributions you can see on stage. Here, here, literally. These are the nomination. These are the nominees for best sound design of a play. Adam Cork, Inc. Scott Lear, To Kill a Mockingbird. Fitz Patton, Choir Boy. Nick Powell, The Ferryman. Eric Slykem, Network. And the Tony Award for best sound design of a play goes to. Fitz Patton, choir boy. Thank you. Thank you very much. So a little um, group therapy. Uh, this award has been living in London for so long. It has a British accent. <laughs> I am really glad that they are willing to loan it back to us for a year. Um, I want to say that, uh, you know, when you start, it's about what you're doing, and the longer you spend doing this, you know, it's about who you're working with that makes all the difference. These two people here changed my life. And I'm sure when Trip Coleman and Terrell McCraney met each other, that was a moment that changed their life that year. I want to say about Trip that if you ever want to work in a room of endless creative affirmation and expansion, where every day is, yes, give us more, we need more of you, be bigger, he's the guy to work with. He's probably here. You should catch him before you head out of the room. Thank you. And now, the nominees for Best Sound Design of a Musical. Peter Helensky, Beetlejuice. Peter Helensky, King Kong. Steve Canyon Kennedy, Ain't Too Proud, The Life and Times of the Temptations. Drew Levy, Rogers and Hammersteins, Oklahoma. Nevin Steinberg and Jessica Paz, Hadestown. And the Tony Award for Best Sound Design of a Musical goes to Nevin Steinberg and Jessica Paz, Hadestown.
Hi. Um, time is short, so I'm going to be brief. Uh, I'm going to just uh, talk about a few select women uh, tonight. The first of whom is my wife, Paige, who's here. And I think most of you know her. Uh, she's sitting over there. Um, Paige, thank you for wanting this for me more than I even ever wanted it for myself. Thank you so much for that. Um, I also want to thank uh, Rachel and Anais, whose leadership and kindness and sense of humor uh, is uh, inspiration every day. And then um, I want to thank my colleague, Jessica Paz, who's standing next to me, who is the first woman to be nominated in this category. And now the first woman to win, Jessica. Thank you, thank you. Um, there are so many special reasons uh, reasons that are so special for being part of this production, and the biggest one of them is, is Nevin. He's such an incredible collaborator, and I thank him so much. Uh, thank you to our sound team, Jarrett Kraus, Alex Huerta, Connor Wang, Alex Swan, and Mike Wojcik. Their work is incredible. Thank you to my partner, Corinne, for all of her support. And lastly, I would not be the woman I am today without my aunt, Annie, who I know is like beaming down with so much pride right now. Thank you to her, and thank you to all of you. And thank you, thank you, thank you. Next in our Creative Arts Awards, presented by City National Bank, the first of two awards honoring our lighting designers. Here are the nominees for Best Lighting Design of a Play. Neil Austin, Inc. Jules Fisher and Peggy Eisenhower, Gary, a sequel to Titus Andronicus. Peter Mumford, The Ferryman. Jennifer Tipton, To Kill a Mockingbird. Jan Versveveld and Tal Yarden, Network. And the Tony Award for Best Lighting Design of a Play goes to Neil Austin, Inc. Uh, sadly, Neil could not be with us tonight, so we accept this award on his behalf. Thank you. And now here are the nominees for Best Lighting Design of a Musical. Kevin Adams, The Share Show. Howell Binkley, Ain't Too Proud, The Life and Times of the Temptations. Bradley King, Hades Town. Peter Mumford, King Kong. Kenneth Posner and Peter Negrini, Beetlejuice. And the Tony Award for Best Light and Design of a Musical goes to Bradley King, Hades Town. <laughs> Oh, I lost my voice cheering for Rachel and Jessica. Um, uh, um, first, to my family, to Danielle, my two girls, Emmy and Rosie, who I hope are in bed by now, and my parents who are here tonight, thank you. This would not be possible without you. My Hades Town family, led by Rachel and Anais, and Mara and Dale, I continue to be surrounded by such exceptional women in my life. Um, my family at the Walter Kerr, to John, to Alex, to Bridget, to Pat, to Jimmy, to Justin, to Mitch, to Paul, to Vinny, to our incredible stage management team that keeps that show looking beautiful night after night. And now what I really want to say to all of us in the room, especially the producers out there, there were 147 design slots on Broadway last year. 40 of them went to women. 14 of them went to people of color. Just six went to women of color. We need to make Broadway less white, less cis, and less male. Thank you. Here are the nominees for Best Orchestrations. Michael Chorney and Todd Sikafus, Hades Town. Simon Hale, Tootsie. Larry Hockman, Kiss Me Kate. Daniel Kluger, Rogers and Hammerstein's Oklahoma. Harold Wheeler, Ain't Too Proud, The Life and Times of the Temptations. And the Tony Award for Best Orchestrations goes to Michael Chorney and Todd Sikafus, 
Hades Town. <laughs> well, uh, speaking for myself, I want to thank uh, my friends and family in Vermont, the birthplace of Hadestown, and yes, and my daughters, Ida and Hazel, for all their support and love, and every band member who's ever played any of the dots that Todd and I wrote down for all the various Hadestown orchestras and bands, culminating with this beautiful one on Broadway. When you sneak in through the back door like we did, you don't expect to be welcomed like this, so thank you. And may this community only become more and more welcoming. I want to thank our music team, uh, David Lai, uh, Cody Owenstein, uh, Cynthia Meng, uh, John Gingell, and uh, our amazing musical director, vocal arranger, Liam Robinson. Thank you so much to my wife, Ilana, I love you. I'm proud of this show, but I'm also proud of the work that we did together. I think it shows. Thank you. <laughs> right on, <brother. laughs> and now the nominees for Best Choreography. Camille Brown, Choir Boy. Warren Carlisle, Kiss Me Kate. Dennis Jones, Tootsie. David Newman, Hades Town. Sergio Trujillo, Ain't Too Proud, The Life and Times of the Temptations. And the Tony Award for Best Choreography goes to Sergio Trujillo, Ain't Too Proud to Beg, The Life and Times of the Temptations. <laughs> I'm so lucky, so much love in my life, so many people out here who I love and adore and have, have supported me throughout my career. I, have, I didn't just show up yesterday, I've been here for close to 20 years. Um, so many people to thank, but tonight my deepest gratitude to my Ain't Too Proud family, my genius director Des Makinoff, a true visionary, my mentor, my friend, thank you. My, my associate choreographer, Edgar Godino, who's been dancing by my side for so long. My cast, who's getting ready to perform. And my five, five classic Temptations, who go out there and dance as if it was the last time they were ever going to dance. Ara Pittleman, Tom Halls, Otis Williams, Dominique Morisot, Shelley Berger, thank you for the love you've shown me over the past few years. And to my Colombian family, who had taught me to love music and dance since I was a little boy. Mami, esto se lo digo, mi papá y mi hermano. And, and, and two more things. My husband, who I've known, who, who's been with me for 30 years, and a, so I'm very proud, and, and has been with me through this whole process, through the ups and the downs. Jack Noseworthy, I love you, thank you. One last thing. I arrived in New York City over 30 years ago as an illegal immigrant, and I stand here as proof for all those dreamers, I want you to hear this, that I stand here as proof that the American dream is still alive. You just have to keep on fighting because change will come. Y para todo, thank you. Para todos ellos que estén escuchando este momento, quiero que sepan que si yo, Sergio Trujillo, nacido en Cali, Colombia, pudo llegar a tener este momento, tú también lo puedes hacer. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much. Now we recognize the fantastic writers who provide story, structure, character, cliffhangers, humor, heart, strong beginnings, power-packed endings, and so much more. Here are the nominees for best book of a musical. Ain't Too Proud, The Life and Times of the Temptations, Dominique Morisot. 
Beetlejuice, Scott Brown, and Anthony King. Hades Town, Anais Mitchell. The Prom, Bob Martin and Chad Beglin. Tootsie, Robert Horn. And the Tony for Best Book of a Musical goes to Robert Horn, Tootsie. Oh my God, oh my God, thank you American Theatre Wing and this generous community for welcoming me for this. I've been working 35 long years for this and believe me, what doesn't kill you will try again tomorrow. <laughs> Tootsie is about an actor who's told he can no longer do the one thing he loves more than anything. And as artists, we spend our lives being told no. So I hope this can inspire anybody out there who is told no, but here's yes. Even if it takes 35 years, do not give up. Any can, anybody can be a sword swallower at least once. Thank you to my beautiful Tootsie family, Scott Sanders, Carol Feynman, the, my incredible director, Scott Ellis, my brother in comedy, David Yazbek, this clown car of actors led by the incredible Santino Fontana. I have to thank my, yeah, my mom, who's 87 years old and is here tonight, who gave me a love of theater. My beautiful twin sister, who didn't hold on until tonight, but I know is watching. And my gorgeous husband of 20 years, who's, who is still okay that for every action, I have an equal and opposite overreaction. <laughs> Every month with him at my side is Pride Month. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Congratulations to all our winners so far. Thanks again to City National Bank for presenting the Creative Arts Awards. We've got some more awards to present throughout the night, so you're not done with us yet. We'll be back. James Gordon is back to host the broadcast live in just a few minutes. Plus, yep. There are some special guests and surprises you didn't see if you were here for the dress rehearsal this morning. So we're all in for a big night. We'll see you soon. Hi, Mom and Dad! It's my dad who's flown all the way from Australia. I love you, Dad. Particularly Phyllis and Arnie and my mom and dad who are felling away in Florida. Thanking my mother for having me. I have been praying my entire life for the opportunity to stand in front of the world and say thank you to my parents who are here tonight. I have these great parents. Uh, they've seen every show I've done since I was five. And a very, very special thank you to my mother, the anti-Mama Rose, and the most amazing woman that I know. Don't do this, you're making my mother cry. Thank you to my Nana who sold her engagement ring so that I could move to New York to be an actor. My beautiful wife, Pauletta and the children at home, go to bed. My real Sycamore family, thank you for being weird and silly and loving me unconditionally. My sister, Callie, she did my hair. 